we are going to discuss the z-score and the area under the normal curve. But let's start with the z-score. A z-score, also known as the standard score, is a value in the standard normal distribution corresponds to the normal variable x in the normal distribution, which also gives us the idea how many standard deviation the normal variable x is from the mean. And so we can convert a normal variable x in the normal distribution to standard score or z-score in the standard normal distribution and vice versa. So to convert a normal variable x to standard score or z-score, we are going to use the formula z is equal to x minus u over sigma or z-score is equal to the normal variable x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Say in our given figure, our mean and standard deviation are already given in the normal distribution, which are 80 and 5 respectively. Now, for example, our given normal variable x is 85. What would be its corresponding z-score in the standard normal distribution? Applying the formula, we have 85 minus 80 divided by 5. So 85 minus 80 is 5 over 5. Then 5 divided by 5 is 1. Therefore, the corresponding z-score of the normal variable x which is 85 is 1. If for example, our normal variable x is 75, what would be its corresponding z-score? So 75 minus 80 divided by 5 is negative 5 divided by 5. So negative 5 divided by 5 is negative 1. Therefore, the corresponding z-score of 75 in the normal distribution is negative 1 in the standard normal distribution. But if our normal variable x is 90, what would be its corresponding z-score? So 90 minus 80 divided by 5. We have 10 divided by 5 is... So the corresponding z-score of 90 is 2. If our x is 65, what would be its z-score? So 65 minus 80 divided by 5. We have negative 15 divided by 5 is negative 3. So 65 in the normal distribution, the corresponding uh, z-score is negative 3 in the standard normal distribution. Let us have some sample problems regarding the z-score. Say, the test scores of 100 students are normally dis distributed with a mean of 30 and standard deviation of 3. If a student gets a score of 24, what is his or her z-score? So applying the formula, we have z is equal to x minus u divided by sigma. So our given variable x is 24. So 24 minus the mean, which is 30, divided by 3, which is the standard division, is negative 6 divided by 3. So negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. Therefore, the corresponding z-score of a score of 24 is negative 2. If our student get a score of 33, what is his or her z-score? So 33 minus 30 divided by 3. 33 
minus 30 is 3 divided by 3 is 1 therefore the corresponding z score of the score of 33 is 1 say our x or score is 37 then 37 minus 30 divided by 3 so 37 minus 30 is 7 divided by 3 is 2.33 so the corresponding z score of the score of 37 is 2.33 if the student get a score of 25 what is his or her z score so 25 minus 30 divided by 3 is negative 5 divided by 3 so negative 5 divided by 3 is negative 1.67 this time let us convert a z score to a normal variable x let us first derive a formula for x using the formula for z so given this formula z is equal to x minus u over sigma we can cross multiply so z times sigma we have z times sigma is equal to x minus u then move negative u to the left side of the equation we have z times sigma plus u is equal to x or x is equal to z times sigma plus u therefore the formula for x is x is equal to z times sigma plus u say if the given z score is negative 1 with the same given of the mean which is 80 and the standard deviation which is 5 applying the formula we have negative 1 times 5 plus 80 so negative 1 times 5 is negative 5 plus 80 x is equal to 75 so the corresponding normal variable x of negative 1 as our z score is 75 if for example our z score is 3 what would be its corresponding normal variable x so 3 times 5 is 15 plus 80 x is 95 if our z is negative 3 what would be its corresponding normal variable x so negative 3 times 5 is negative 15 plus 80 x is 65 Let us have some sample problems. The test scores of 50 students are normally distributed with a mean of 40 and a standard deviation of 2. If a student gets a Z score of 3, what is his or her test score? So applying the formula, X is equal to Z times sigma plus U. So, substituting the value of Z, which is 3, we have 3 times 2, 2 as the standard deviation, plus 40 as our mean. So, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 40 is 46. Therefore, the corresponding test score of a Z score, which is 3, is 46. If the Z score is negative 2, what is his or her test score? We have negative 2 times 2 plus 40. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4 plus 40 is 36. Therefore, the corresponding test score of a Z score, which is negative 2, is 36. Let us discuss the area under the normal curve given a z value. 
So the steps in finding the area under the normal curve given a z value are number one, express the given z value into a three digit number. Number two, using the z table, find the first two digits on the first column. Number three, find the third digit on the first row on the right. And number four, read the area for probability at the intersection of the row or the first two digit number and column or the third digit number. The value observed at the intersection indicates the area of the given Z value. Here is the table or the Z table showing the Z score or value with the corresponding area. So this is from 0 to negative Z value and from 0 to the positive Z value. Let's have some problems. Find the area that corresponds to a Z score or value of negative 1.45 so our given z score is already expressed in a three digit number therefore we're going to proceed to step number two so step number two says we're going to look the first two digit number in the first column so our first two digit number is negative 1.4 okay then, step number three is, we're going to look the third digit in our first row. Okay, so we have 0 0.05. Because if we're going to add these two numbers, we have negative 1.4 plus negative 0 0.05. The sum is negative 1.45. Then, we'll now proceed to step number four we're going to look for the intersection of these two numbers the first two digit number which is negative 1.4 and the third digit number which is 0 0.05 so the intersection is 0 0.07353 therefore the corresponding area of a c score or value of negative 1.45 is 0 0.07353 next find the area that corresponds to a z-score or value of 1.98 again our given z-score is already expressed in a three-digit number therefore we're going to proceed to step number two so find the first two digit number in the first column so our first two digit number is 1.9 then step number three look or find the third digit number in the first row so it is 0 0.08 because we're going to add 1.9 and 0 0.08 the sum is 1.98 then the fourth step is find the intersection of these two numbers so the first two digit number is 1.9 and the third digit number is 0 0.08 the intersection is 0 0.97615 therefore the corresponding area of the C-score, which is 1.98, is 0 